The ex-wife of former President Donald Trump sadly died this summer following a bad fall down the stairs. After she passed away, Donald Trump had her buried at a small cemetery located on the grounds of his golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey. Following her burial, many people speculated that Trump only buried her at his golf course to capitalize on tax breaks associated with owning a cemetery. But is this all true? And if so, what exactly are the tax benefits of owning and operating a cemetery? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Taxes Made Simple. I'm your host, Carlton Dennis. And yes, in today's video, I'm going to clear up the rumors surrounding the Ivana Trump burial tax break situation and explain to you all of the tax benefits for cemeteries that you need to know about. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, guys, what exactly happened with Trump's Bedminster golf course and the Ivana situation? Trump's golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey, sits on hundreds of acres of land. Of these hundreds of acres, about 184 acres are designated as farmland and about 320 acres are classified as golf course. Trump was able to get a farmland designation for a large portion of the land owned by the golf course because of some of the trees on this land are harvested and used for mulch and he keeps about eight goats on the property. This entitles Trump to major pro farmer tax breaks for the farm portion of the golf course land. In fact, for the roughly 184 acres of prime New Jersey real estate that is designated as farmland, Trump only pays about $1,200 in property taxes per year. The golf course is an entirely different story. Trump pays roughly $460,000 in property taxes annually for the golf course. In 2014, the Trump Family Trust applied for the New Jersey State Cemetery Board to get a certificate of authority to operate a cemetery company on a roughly 5,700 square foot section of the Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey, near the first hole. In 2016, this application was approved by the board and the Trump Family Trust was issued certificate of authority number 434 on February 4th, 2016 for the small cemetery. Ivana was the first person to be buried in the cemetery on July 20th, 2022. Many people believe that this was a very odd place for her to be buried, and as a result, speculation began to occur that Trump did this to get tax breaks associated with owning a cemetery. It's a write-off for them. How is it a write-off? They just write it off. What are actually the tax breaks and benefits of owning a cemetery? It is true that there are significant tax breaks associated with owning and operating a cemetery, and we're learning that now. In fact, in the state of New Jersey, cemeteries are exempt from property taxes. They're exempt from income and sales taxes. And cemetery companies have similar tax breaks in many other states as well. In fact, there are so many tax breaks for operating a cemetery company that well-known tax researcher and Dartmouth College sociologist, his name is Brooke Harrington, called Trump's burial of Ivana at his golf course a trifecta of tax avoidance, referring to Trump's ability to avoid property taxes, income taxes, and sales taxes for the cemetery designated land on his Bedminster golf course. But I gotta ask you guys, did he really bury Ivana there for tax breaks? Because of the fact that there are so many tax breaks associated with owning and operating a cemetery, it's really easy to see why people were speculating that he buried her there simply for tax purposes or for tax breaks. However, there are a number of things that we have to consider before we just assume that's why he did this. The first is the fact that having a large portion of the property designated as farmland, Trump already cut down the property taxes for the property by about $100,000. So he's already saving a large amount of money in taxes. Secondly, only a very small portion of the golf property in Bedminster is designated as the actual cemetery. The vast majority of the property is still a for-profit golf course. Generally speaking, in order to qualify for any industry-specific benefits for state and local tax purposes, most or all of the business's activities have to be related to that industry. So what this means is that it's highly unlikely that Trump would get tax breaks for operating a cemetery on a five to 600 acre plot of land that is primarily designated for the use of a golf course. This is especially true considering the fact that the cemetery on the golf course is very small. In fact, it is designated only to have burial plots for about 10 members of the Trump family and several hundred other people. That's about it. The entire cemetery site is less than one acre. So why did Trump create the cemetery if not for tax purposes. It appears that the main reason for Trump to build the cemetery at the Trump National Golf Course in Bedminster, New Jersey, was not for tax breaks, despite the rumors that have been rapidly circulating. 
Instead, it's more likely the case that Trump has simply chosen this area to bury his family members just because he loves the property. The Bedminster Golf Course was known to be one of his favorite properties, and Trump is an avid golfer and a lover of the game. Some people speculate that the additional burial sites in the cemetery are also designated to be used by other members of the Trump National Golf Course. In this way, Trump and his close friends could all get a sort of eternal membership to the Trump National Golf Club. Well, Trump has always been a man who does things his own way, and I think we all know that. And he has a very distinct personal style. So it's not too hard to believe that he would want to create his own cemetery for the people he cares and loves about the most, especially on a golf course. But are we 100% sure that this is the reason? No, we're not. The Trump family has not commented heavily on the burial of Ivana, the mother of the three of President Trump's children. However, a spokesperson for the Trump family did make a comment saying that linking Ivana's burial site with tax benefits was truly evil. So it would appear that the family has at least ruled out the possibility of tax breaks being the motivating factor behind Ivana's burial. As far as we know, Ivana Trump did not make it clear publicly during her life that she would like to be buried at the Trump National Golf Club course in Bedminster. However, she was known to have remained very close to former President Donald Trump and, of course, her children throughout her lifetime. So it is more than likely that they had all planned this together before the time of her passing and that she was in some support of the idea. Because Trump has at least 10 plots that are specifically designated for members of his family at this location, it's also very likely that he'll bury other members of his family and most likely himself at this location in the future. Whether or not other members of the Trump National Golf Club will choose to be buried at this location is yet to be determined and not something we've looked into yet. Due to the fact that Donald Trump has famously been able to minimize taxes throughout his life, it's hard to blame people for speculating that he buried his late wife Ivana at his golf course for tax reasons. However, it's almost certainly not the case due to the very small size of the cemetery and the fact that it's a part of the Trump National Golf Club. It is true that Trump Family Trust was granted authority to operate a cemetery on the grounds of the golf course, but that doesn't mean that the Trump's entire golf course at this location is exempt from property taxes, sales taxes, and income taxes. Trump's taxes on the property were already very low, considering the fact that a large section of the property was designated as farmland. But just because Trump might not be able to escape all the taxes for his golf course by owning and operating a cemetery on the property, doesn't mean that regular cemeteries are not entitled to tax breaks. In fact, if you own a normal cemetery, and as long as the primary purpose of the entity is used for burials, then you can in fact be eligible for significant amounts of tax breaks. These breaks include avoiding sales tax, avoiding property tax, and avoiding income taxes like we talked about. Most states also require that you set your cemetery company up as a non-profit entity. Also, if you want to set up your cemetery company, you will have to go through the process of getting a certificate of authority from your state government, just like Donald Trump did. But one of the things that I want you to know is this is absolutely something that can be done with working with a tax professional. I gave you guys the answer you're looking for regarding the Ivano Trump situation. If you have any questions about cemetery company taxes or tax questions of any kind, then feel free to get in touch with my company. You can do so by clicking on the link below. Also, I'm having a live webinar going on right now teaching you how to use real estate to avoid taxes legally. If you're interested in the live webinar, click on the link below. I look forward to seeing you inside there. Thank you so much.